welcome to the Teddy Bear Parade in Gresham, Oregon. The Teddy Bear Parade began in 1982 and has grown into a community tradition with more than 100 festive entries from marching bands and colleges, close to civic and cultural organizations. My name is Carla Peluso and I'm here with Greg Matthews and we're going to be bringing you this parade today. Very exciting event, Carla. I'm looking forward to it. And of course, uh, Carol Nielsen Hood, who was here uh, for several years, has opted to be a barricade specialist this morning. And uh, I really appreciate you being here. Looking forward to working with you and bringing this great parade. What I love about Gresham, we don't cancel anything. We're going to move forward with the rain. We've got a little bit of rain. We've still got people out, and it's going to be a great day for a parade. You bet. It is a little bit of rain, not much, certainly not the typhoon like whether they were predicting for our parade. So we are just pleased to be here. We're warm, and we are ready to go. We're coming our way north on Main Street looks to be... Well, I see the flashing blue and red lights of a police van. And, uh, yeah, it looks like the heavy-duty equipment from the surf team. Greg was a member of that many, many years ago. Absolutely, and uh, our SWAT team is uh, an incredible uh, tactical unit, uh, very well-trained police officers. These are officers that might be in the capacity of detectives or perhaps patrol. Uh, and if, uh, if the need arises for a tactical expertise, they'll call out the SWAT team. And uh, what you're looking at there, folks, that SWAT vehicle, uh, I will tell you, you don't want that showing up in your driveway or on your street. But if it does, just stay in. Everything will be clear, and they'll let you know exactly when they're done. So we also have the motorcycles. And, uh, Carla, you were the chief of police for so many years, but uh, it's got to give you a great deal of pride to see the department out here representing. You bet. Nothing better than uh, the public safety part of law enforcement in our community. And I see our, our uh, men in blue on the bikes. It looks like they're riding Kawasaki's now, and my day they were on the Harleys, but they're nice looking rides, and they do their job, and uh, again, not somebody you like to see in your rearview mirror, but let me tell you, they're doing their job, and they're doing it well, and we just want you to be safe. They do a great job, and I think Clay Cotterell, and I believe that's Jeff Durbin, and uh, looking real good on the Kawasaki's, and yeah, they went from the Harleys to the Cowies, and they like them better, they're more functional, but you may have seen these folks in your neighborhood out on the street keeping us safe, maybe in your school giving a safety talk, but... Officer Jeff Durbin, you're looking sharp today, my friend. Your bike looks good, and thanks for being here. Stay dry. And as they say, the rubber side down. All right. Hey, I do want to mention that our Western Buick Kia GMC is our presenting sponsor. We uh, are always happy to have them big members of our community doing great things for us on a daily basis. Absolutely. And uh, there you see their banner there as they wave to the crowd. And They've got a pretty good view there. Uh, Police Chief Craig Jenninger is in the uh, in the large SWAT vehicle, and here comes, here comes the chief the now, chief. making his entrance. Look at that, number two. I thought we were number one. Now. How are you? Good morning, Chief. Look, we'll hold the parade up just so the chief can say hi. Chief Craig Jenninger, great man, great individual. Uh, and Carly, you pass the torch. I know you're proud of the things he's doing with the department yeah. too. And uh, keep up the great work, Chief. And uh, he's in. There's no reason for him to be in a SWAT vehicle other than the fact. He's just showing some of the equipment, some of the folks. Yeah, yes, definitely. And I look at our mayor, Shane Bemis, there coming out over the top, peeking out the top of that little uh, little pickup truck. That's, of course, uh, from GMC and uh, Western Pontiac GMC Buick. They're located right up there at 223rd and Stark Street. Good morning to the Western folks. Hey, you know, and I'd like to just give a, another mention to Jan Weston and the Weston family. Boy, they uh, topped off a huge donation to our Salvation Army so that we can continue to build our community center down on about 194th and Stark. This, and a great, great, generous, large this, donation. And following there, yes, there is our mayor. And there's our mayor right there at the top of that GMC, and he's got his sons there, Derek. There's Luke. Yeah. I'm looking. Where, where are we at there? Where's Jake? Jake might be on the other side, and I see his lovely wife, Alex, too. So... Let's not leave her out because, let's face it, uh, the mayor's a busy guy. Runs a business, runs the city, uh, and uh, that's a busy family right there. We appreciate him, and they're at Hogan Cedars with my kids, and, uh, you know, just appreciate all he's doing. And the mayor's got some challenges ahead. We all do. And he's taking them head on, and I really respect that. And uh, good for him, and great to see the mayor out here. And, uh, again, a Gresham kid done good. That's right. That's right. And just uh, a little historical note. It's Shane T. Bemis now, you know, now that he's mayor, we got the, the T. Bemis in there. Well, and the bottom line, when you're in Esquire magazine, you want to make sure people know that that was you that was in Esquire magazine. Not just in his so there he is, Bemis. folks. You don't have to pick up a copy of Esquire to see the mayor. You can just come to the teddy bear parade. And uh, there he is right there. And, you know, he was sworn in as the mayor of Gresham in 
sworn in uh, as the of 26th mayor on January 2nd, 2007, and re-elected to a second term in November 2010. And we are proud to see our mayor and his family with us today. Absolutely. And following our mayor, Oh, Shevon, is it Shevon Ashley, a title holder in the Miss America Scholarship Program. Miss Gresham's outstanding team, placed in the top 10 at the Miss Oregon pageant in June, serves in our community with some very special girls, and she works to prevent exploitation, one child at a time. Good morning, great to see you. Hey, Thanks for being here. And uh, his special es her special escort is... We hey, might know that guy. We might know Denver. him. Yes. Stay safe, Dad. Don't go back to speed limit. <laughs> Fine. Fine. And we have Jerry Hinton coming our way. There he is in the back of a beautiful old car. City Council Jerry Hinton, elected to Council Position 1 in November, sworn into office on January 8th. Good to see you, Councilor. Got a lovely wife with him, and uh, always great to see you. Thanks for being out here, and you look good. And right behind is Councilor Mario Camaro, who was appointed to Council to this open seat on December 18th, 2012, and will serve until his And riding in my future vehicle, perhaps. Oh, Looking good. good. Councilor, great to see you. Here comes Fire Chief Scott Lewis. Fire Chief Lewis is making his way right now, and uh, he's in the Ford Crown Vic, and he's got some family with him, his beautiful wife Linda there, and I think maybe their grandkids and perhaps a daughter in that car. Chief Lewis, great to see you. Linda, always a pleasure to see you. Hello there. There you go, representing the City of Gresham Fire and Emergency Service. Hi, kids, how you doing? You look good. Get to ride in the Chief's car. Good morning, Chief. Fire Chief Scott Lewis, thanks for making it out this morning, and great to see you. Bye, Linda. Have a great day. Some huge members of our community, the folks from All About Auto, who have done everything from sponsoring the Rock Around the Block and the uh, Fed Races to just about anything we ask them to do. Uh, being involved in the community, helping our schools, that's the job we're happy to have them. And in that car... There's President Kate Allister. There's our president right there, the Sheropolis. Hello there. How do you do? You, you're rolling quickly. It must be the weather. How are you? Kate Allister, Sheropolis International Gresham President. And here comes Lori Montes Anderson. Lori Montes Anderson is our state senator representing State Senate District 25. Senator Montes Anderson, thanks for all you do. Also a Gresham High graduate. Uh, just a wonderful gal presenting the community out there representing in Salem. Senator, great to see you, and uh, thanks for being here this morning. Also serves on the Board of Directors of Human Solutions, so we're proud to have her with us. Absolutely, and Shirley Craddock behind her. Yes. Fast and furious. <laughs> District 1 with the Metro Council, and again, Multnomah County Commissioner Diane McKeel. Folks, it must be raining because they want to just step it up and hit the speed. Oh, Diane's been involved in East Multnomah County for more than 35 years. She is a county commissioner, and wonderful job. Good morning, Commissioner McKeel. Dr. Mike, how you doing? And also again, a big thank you Here comes the blue group. The blue group. Yeah, let's get on it. This is what they're all about. The Gresham Cheer Squad. You gotta love the noise. I'm an 82 graduate. I want these drums to start, and here we go. We're gonna show you what Gresham's all about. The high school rhythm mats are right behind the band. Right on, right on. And I want to acknowledge Fred Myers, who are sponsoring this blue group and this portion of the parade. Here come the wonderful Rhythmettes, the high school band and cheer, and our Rhythmettes. And where's Megan? Where's our coach, Megan? I'm looking for Megan. There she is right there. Out, if you thought my hair looked good today, just think Megan. Oh, that little gal right there. Go see her at Gloss right down the street. Keep up the great work with the kids. How about the citizen volunteers and policing? What do you think of that? Well, I think, you know, when we can involve our community, That's part of the CVIP program. Look at that. A lot's changed. See, if you were chief, you could have ridden in that thing. How about that? That's a nice little vehicle. That's a great way to get on Springwater Trail. And we're starting to have some challenges out there on Springwater Trail right now. And that's a good way to kind of get out there and kind of look and 
Again, these folks report the problem. They don't necessarily uh, have the ability to enforce. If you'd like more information on CVIP, check out the city website. There'll be links for you there. Regal Stark Street Cinemas. Well, of all days today, sounds like a good idea for the Stark Street Cinemas. Nice day to be inside. Once the parade is over, of course, we uh, want you to stand here for this whole thing. Absolutely. And then the Duck and Beaver game later. So you're going to want to watch, you know, some of this. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. I think we're going to see some fallen meatballs uh, later this afternoon for sure. That is awesome. Very good. And Portland Lutheran School is right behind the, there we are, group number six coming their way. Portland Lutheran High School, independent pre kindergarten through 12th grade school, grounded in the strong academic traditions of the Lutheran education. Featured as one of Portland's top college prep schools in Portland Monthly Magazine in February of 2011 and again in 2012. Portland Lutheran School's integrated program of academics, arts, athletics, social activities, and spiritual education matures well-rounded learners. Check out this panda bear coming with this young man. He's bigger than the young man, but he's killing him. These That's are the folks the that make it happen right here. This is the Metro East Community uh, Media right. folks. And uh, the reason you get to watch us on cable is because of the wonderful work they do at Metro East Community Media. We appreciate Metro East Community Media. They are a nonprofit community media center helping hundreds of volunteers produce and cablecast their own TV shows. Keep up the great work, Metro East Community Media. Look at this, learning, laughing, and loving. Breakfast United Methodist Preschool. What a great slogan, and they're, and they're living their uh, slogan today. I've seen a lot of laughing and smiles, and a great day for a parade, even in the rain. Thank uh, you so much for being here, folks. Absolutely, Gresham United Methodist Preschool. They are preschool-aged children. They learn best through exploration and play. Thanks for being part of their parade again. Appreciate them always showing up for the Gresham Teddy Bear Parade. I think they've been in this parade 15 plus years or so. Wow, that's great. And here comes Scribbles. Scribbles Preschool. Uh, educational, for children, educational program for children of all ages. Uh, check out their website to have more information. And they are the group in yellow today. Looking beautiful, looking bright. Hey, we'll just pretend that's the sun shining right through all that yellow. You certainly could. Nice little yellow H2 hover representing the Scribbles Preschool. Looking good. Again, for children ages three to five years, Scribbles Preschool. Check them out on your website, www.scribblespreschool.com. Oh, I love this old rig. We see this every year. The Furstenberg family, they bring this on out. And it's uh, originally owned by the city of Portland. It's 1928 Aaron Fox fire engine, purchased in 63 by Bernard Furstenberg. Great rig. Thanks for coming out again. Always look forward to seeing that rig in the parade. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Chestnut Lane's making their way, and they've got a bear with them today. Chestnut Lane is assisted living for the deaf and, deaf and blind. It is one of three disabled living communities for the deaf in the United States. Boy, that is a great legacy for our community as well. We're going to be treating and serving those with special needs. It is a wonderful facility. We've responded there on occasion, and uh, just well-run, great facility. Here comes our, I believe, East Co. Diversified Services. So they provide jobs and homes for people with developmental disabilities. As we see the big bus from Chestnut Lanes going, it might be important to mention too, they do transport, so folks get their way around town that way as well. Now here's Eastco, East and uh, Eastco again provides some jobs for the developmentally disabled. Appreciate Eastco and all you do. Carly, you remember playing softball with the police department. I do. This is where we got our jerseys. Eastco right. would do the work. And I too fond of those jerseys we initially bought there, right? But that's a whole other story. I could put up with the jerseys, but the hats from Disneyland were a little much for me to go with, but that's yes, a whole right. different story. Hey, so we're going into the green section now. I want to thank Fred Myers again of Gresham for the blue section. The green section is sponsored by Central Market and Kitchen, your neighborhood market on the corner of Northwest 3rd and Miller in downtown Gresham. Absolutely, and there's the Meals on Wheels with people at Loaves and Fishes Centers. Thank you very much for the Meals on Wheels. And again, Central Market and Kitchen, Neighborhood Market on the corner of Northwest 3rd and Miller in downtown Gresham. And I understand there's always a need for drivers with Meals on Wheels. So again, just Google that name, uh, find the local organization, and if you have the time, they could use your help. Small World Learning Center, this group is near and dear to my heart, if you don't mind. They are a locally owned learning center, Education Fund Become One. Look at these kids and look at that Jeep. I'm waiting for the music, but I'm not hearing it, but that's okay. Uh, they've been doing this for... Oh, 13 plus years, maybe 14 years. They love being part of the community, touching the lives of Gresham and the future of all these kids. So great to see you and uh, good morning. And they got the big bear up top. And look at these folks. These are staff members. These are parents. These are community folks. 
thanks very much for coming on out here. What a great showing from Small World. And I got to tell you, we are blessed to have strong families, strong staff. The teachers there are just wonderful. Small World ages six weeks to 12 years. Check out Small World Learning Center. Hey, and I know, Frank, you're a little humble about the whole thing, but between you and your wife, Suzette, you uh, do a tremendous amount of things for our, for our kids, our young kids, as well as this community in general. So we thank you for all your service. It's a lot of fun. In fact, I know one of those bears there. So here we are, Justin Ford, Deal with the Heart. And this is Human Solutions. Well, let me just tell you a little bit about Human Solutions. One of my favorite organizations. I'm here to my first child. Those living in poverty, our goal is the pathway out of poverty and self-sufficiency. So give it up there for Human Solutions. And right behind them is Dan Anderson Karate. Dan Anderson Karate, of course, community. Uh, they're serving the community, teaching the youth of East County to live strong spirits and, of course, confidence in, and believe in themselves and uh, become leaders in the future. Good for them, and thank you very much, Dan Anderson. Up next, West Gresham Gray School. Near and dear to all of our hearts on this side of, the, of uh, Gresham. Uh, I know that Greg spent many a day there and teaching dance. Absolutely. And, uh, with the kids, and uh, we welcome them to parade. And, uh, and many Great showing. West is the best. 90th birthday for West Gresham. So happy birthday, kids. Happy birthday to West. Great school right there on Powell across from your post office. And I think we also have the moms, let's see, they meet here. Uh, mothers of preschoolers, here we are, the mothers of preschoolers groups. They are, uh, moms next is for moms of school aged kids, kindergarten through high school. They'll meet Thursday mornings at Eastville Church. They are for mothers of preschool moms, pregnant through five years on Tuesday mornings. Good to see them. Yeah, folks, and I want to apologize to all the viewers because we're having a hard time keeping up. These folks are in a real hurry to get through the rainy parade, apparently. And so you're in the screenshot, but we're talking over other groups. We apologize to you. We're doing the best we can. Great to see you. Look at that. Gresham Girls ASA. Absolutely. It's the Youth Softball Association that has youth girls to play ages 6 through 14. Oh, we got a little Barlow going on back there. We got All right, and the Baha'i Faith. The Baha'i Faith, world's newest religion dedicated to the establishment of world peace through honoring, celebrating our diversity. Boy, and who cannot argue with that one? That's a great organization. We're happy to have you here. Thank you so much. And thanks again, Central Market and Kitchen, for the Color Group sponsors. And that takes us to the White Group. And the White Group uh, is sponsored by Mount Hood Community College. And in this first car is the Associate Student Governor, President Laura Agon, and Vice President Edward Ortiz. You know, they come to Salem quite a bit. We hear from the student government quite a bit on uh, legislative issues, so good to see them. And here in car two, President Debbie Durr with driver Wayne Machuca. I hope I said that okay, Wayne, in your car. It's beautiful. How did I butcher that? Pretty well, huh? We do okay? Did I say the names okay? All righty. Boy, and it's great to have you here, President. It's great. All right, and now we're on top. Martial Arts Fitness Center with Ron Schubert. We are finally going to catch up with the screen. Uh, we have the Quality Martial Arts and Leadership Instruction. They've been providing that since 1992. These kids are kind of fun to watch, but they teach discipline as well. That's right. And, you know, with all that comes the self-esteem, uh, personal strength, Stop on by the uh, Martial Arts Fitness Center, see Ron Schubert, see these wonderful kids and are providing good role models. Hey, doing a good morning. Ron, how are you doing? Great good to see morning. you yet another year. I believe 21 good years morning. or so. Great turnout. Good East Gresham Great oh, School behind to see them. You. Oh, East Gresham. We're seeing East Gresham. That's my old alma mater. That's where I went to school. So East Gresham, home of the Eagles. Great to see you. Go East Gresham. Good to have you here today. Great school, the great Eagles. teachers, wonderful folks, home of the Eagles. And speaking of Eagles, let's go to the Lions. Oh, there you go. Look at this, the Gresham Breakfast Lions Club. 
They supply the glass and hearing aids for people who can't afford them, plus many other projects in and around the city. This is the Gresham Breakfast Lions Club. They serve the needy. And thanks George Moreland Plumbing Supply for the vehicle. And uh, look at that lion. I love seeing that out every year. Yes, it's great. And you know, the Lions, along with uh, some local Kiwanis clubs, will be sponsoring once again their Civil War auction that comes up to benefit the kids in our community. So that'll be uh, in November, so be looking for information on that. Absolutely. And this is the Paw Walk. Uh, boy, let's see here. This is also coming up on September 28th, right here in Historic. Oh no, that's today. And that's a 30 block public dog training course that will be in the historic downtown, leading to the future uh, off lease dog park. All right, here's our school district coming their way. Oh my gosh, it's the superintendent. Now we have the real celebrities. We had the mayor, now we have the superintendent. What could be better on parade day? And he's driving himself. And he is. Did you That's get that awesome. license issue taken care of so you can drive? Okay, good, appreciate that, appreciate that. Now, now some might think there's some favoritism here because the superintendent's leading the way for the San Barlow Bruins. Oh. I, I don't think we should read into that. No, no, I think you're right. of all his schools. Uh, there we are. Boy, the and, cheerleaders uh, are the best. They got a little, they got a little jazz time going on, and a cheerleader. Great. Sounds great. Cheer team jazz. They, uh, they're trying to outdo Gresham is what's going on, yeah. and they may have succeeded. Listen to them. Was there a game last night? Did they play last night? I don't know. Barlow, did you have a game last Was night? There a football game last night. Did you win the football night? game last night? Yes, we do. There we go. Right. And right behind them comes North Gresham. Well, now wait a second. Talk. Take off pounds responsibly. Be a winner. www.tops.org. Thanks for coming on out. Tops number 905 in Gresham. Take off pounds sensibly. And North Gresham's right behind that. Okay. Oh, is it? Yes, this is North Gresham grade school oh, right Gresham here. And uh, looking right like a great group right of folks, north. the North Gresham folks. And uh, I love the ladybug umbrella and the flag. We've got the North Stars. Yeah, the Thanks blue and the white. Here. And this is our Gresham United BFW Post 180. I'm proud to be a member of the 180. I'm a life member. Gresham United Ladies Auxiliary as well. Uh, they will help the veterans with problems receiving benefits and educate community through scholarship programs and ceremonies to honor veterans in active duty military. So thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Looking good this morning. Thanks for being there for our veterans. Our VFW, and thanks you for your bet. service. Whoa. We appreciate you very much. All right. And when you see our veterans out and about in the community, make sure you thank them for their service. And here comes the 57 Chevy with the Teddy Bear Express. The oh, Bateman Carroll Teddy, Teddy Bear Carol. Express. Uh, they're celebrating life with dedication, excellence, innovation, and community since 1931 with dignity and honor. Great to see them. Hey, and it looks like Highland Elementary's coming up. Highland up here on the hill to the north. Here they are. Look at this great group of young kids. There they are, number 13. You don't have to applaud all the, the parents that are supporting, the teachers and staff of every one of our schools that make this community great. Absolutely. It's good to see you all. And let's recognize it would have been easy for these folks to stay home. They could have had plenty of excuse that it was raining, but they showed up. Highland Elementary, thanks for coming on out. Not every school participates, yeah. and you did today. Thanks for, You're looking great. Thanks for Thank representing you. your school. Hey, hey, Here we go. Good the morning. section sponsor for the red section, Pediatric Therapy Services. Good morning. And here they come. And thanks again to Mount Hood Community College for sponsoring the last group. Here comes Pediatric Therapy Services with the color group sponsor for our red group. And leading us, I believe, is Pediatric Therapy Services. All right. There they are. They provide uh, physical, occupational, speech therapy services for children. And it's game day. The party's here. I believe they're Ducks fans. What do you I, think? I have a sense. That's your trained observer skills from the day. Arthur Academy making their way uh, up on us. They are just coming fast and furious. Public Charter School, the Arthur Academy. Hey, how about that? There you go. I understand they just put a new sign in on Cleveland Road. Pretty cool deal. Yes. So good for them, the Arthur Academy. It's a public charter school, grades K through five. The mission is every student to become a fluent reader, master the skills necessary to succeed at the next level. And here are the Girl Scouts. Bubbles are blowing. Wow. Uh, celebrating 101 years as America's premier female leadership development program all under the guise of fun citizenship and community service. I was a Girl Scout many years ago. Is that right? Anybody got any Thin Mints on them or too early? Yeah, no? Too, yeah. Nope. no cookies, no Thin Mints, okay. Well, we are uh, getting through this parade in a hurry this morning and uh, folks are just, uh, the weather's holding off, but we're still getting through it. We've had a couple of no-shows, so bear with us, but uh, 
again, East Metro Community Media doing a great job getting the shots for you, and we're doing our best to stay on track with you. So and I hang in there. we got plenty more to go. Okay, thank you. Thanks okay, for the Pitties and pink. pink. Here we go. Oh, pitties and pink. Multnomah County Animal Shelter, Shelter Services. It's a look cunt. At this. It's a. They're pit bulls in pink. Oh, look okay, I got they it. They don't now. look so fierce now, do they? Most of these oh, days, look at dog, those dogs. Uh, the auction. The dogs. Well behaved, well mannered, well respected. That's right. Just Intelligent, can... lovingly loyal family members. Absolutely. Let's not be stereotyping anything. Another big shout out for Weston Buick GMC Kia for our being our presenting sponsor, Oregon's largest pre-owned inventory. Visit and, them if you need a car. And here goes WeGoShop.com. We, we missed them on the screen, but we got to catch them here. Oh. A new business in the Gresham area. They go shop, so you don't have to. This is their first year in the parade. WeGoShop.com. Look for them and they'll help you. Here come the Pirates. Arr. Arr. Wow. Ragtag Rogue Raiders and the Pirates of Portlandia. And they are reenactors enthusiasts. We can be found at festivals, fairs, community gatherings, and numerous charity events. Whoa, thanks for being out here in Gresham. Yo ho, what's their favorite letter? What do you think? Their favorite letter might be what? Might be R. What kind there of socks that guy wearing? Oh, those are R guys. R guys. I could go all day, but it's I don't Johnny have to. Johnny Depp. Look at Captain that. Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow and, and, yeah. and it's Miranda too, right? Yeah, that, right? Yeah, very excellent. Good. You know your pirates. I hey, do. Here I, comes I Hollydale Elementary. Community takes pride in being safe, responsible, and respectful. The Hollydale Honey Bears, I believe, right? Got a little honey bear. Pro oh, look who's here. How are you? 20th year, you think? Did you put it together yet again? We'll go with 20, but it might be 21. Here good you for go. Hollydale. And Julie Erdl, all because of her. All righty. More honey bears. What a great group. Thanks yeah, for coming nice. on out. Kids, Thanks how for you being doing? here, you guys. Hey, at least it ain't snowing. <laughs> yeah, I there's like a, the hat. There's a warrior from the Warrior Dash, I bet. All righty. All righty. You're going to want to look at this group here. Hey, this Vote is yes. the one. Vote yes. Citizens for Schools. We have a huge bond measure on the ballot coming up. We need your help to make it happen. This will touch every school in our district uh, with upgrades in technology, technology safety. It's what's right for our kids, it's right for our community. Thanks for being here, you guys. And plenty of volunteer opportunities and ways to get involved and learn more about that wonderful bond that'll help so many kids in our schools. Oh, and Whoa, GHS. Is this is our theater group, I believe, from Gresham High School. Yes. Theater Arts Department out of Gresham High. I think there's, is that Sound of Music right here? Uh, well, no, I, that may be, but you know, up and coming is whole. East Side Timbers. Is Hello Dolly. In November 213. Oh, the East Side Timbers. Nothing better than a good game of soccer in the rain. And where's Noel uh, Villapondo? Uh, Sue, the coach of one of my kids. Go. Hey, how are you, Sue? Don't all let right. the I know there'll be games all the rest of this day. The, the rain's not, does never stop a Absolutely. soccer player. Well, next up is Gresham Sanitary Service. They've been doing this. And uh, they're also donating the garbage service for this parade, which is always wonderful. Matt Miller, uh, thanks so much. They proudly serve this community since 1948. Uh, if you don't know the Miller family, uh, you're missing out. That's right. These are very, very generous folks that have a great business. And uh, they have the AccuShred Northwest. They also, uh, and this is Brock Miller with AccuShred. Uh, they just do so much. They protect your most confidential information. They'll destroy it at the end of its useful life. And this, Hard drives, x-rays, they do it all. Yeah, it takes us right now into the, well, we want to thank Pediatric Therapy Services for sponsoring the previous group. But now we have On Point Community Credit Union, the color sponsor in the purple. And that, the, here's their car. And folks from On Point, thanks for being here. Great to see On Point as they pass on by. And, and you know, folks, we've got, uh, oh, I'd say at least a dozen more groups that are not to come through. And there's a little bit of a lag that we have. Sometimes that can occur when people kind of get off the street or they, they start doing a little bit of a cheer or they'll stop and sing. You or bet. Maybe it's a late start, but what I want to say is, the Sorocco Center National Gresham really put a ton of effort into this thing. Couldn't do it without the sponsors, of course, and they wouldn't do it if people didn't show up. Uh, and this is a classic example of that. It's a terrible morning, a little windy, a little rainy, and yet we still have all this community. You bet. And that's what Gresham is all about. This is the one of the longest standing traditions in our community. Absolutely. And I think, again, Greg, I know in one way or another, uh, we've been here almost every one of those years, if not every one of those years. And uh, it's a pleasure being at the table with you again today. And I am looking forward to the rest of this parade. And I am so 
thrilled again. We are true Oregonians. The rain well, hasn't deterred anybody. Absolutely. And, and you know, folks, you've got to come downtown Gresham if you haven't been down here in a while. Things are changing. We'll talk a little bit about that. And now I, it looks like I'm seeing some people on horseback. Absolutely. Oregon Equestrian Trails. Uh, members are dedicated to building trails and horse camps in Oregon. We promote trail etiquette, outdoor ethics, and leave no trace. Boy, what a beautiful looking animal that is. That's And uh, in the horse family are some Democrats coming their way. Here we go. <laughs> uh, the Multnomah County Democrats, I see that we had uh, Representative Chris Gorsuch on front carrying the sign there. And Casey Hansen, good for you. And County Democrats dedicated to making people's lives better. How about that? Hey, I recognize a few of those signs, but good to see you, and thanks for what you do. And uh, and Representative, I'll see you in uh, Monday morning, and uh, we'll be standing together, my friend. All right, and John and Shirley Vandermosen right here. And Oh, you bet. You know, the thing about these folks is they are, a lot of them just volunteer for the cause. They're trying to help improve lives for people in the community, and they, they get involved in legislative session. They get involved in the elections. They weigh in on a lot of issues, and we appreciate them. And John and Shirley Vandermosen, uh, two of my favorites. That's right. Of the Multnomah County Democrats, absolutely. So you, you know, they make change. They make change happen. They make a difference in our community. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, and here comes Golden Montessori, uh, the Golden Montessori School. They've been doing this for I think 28 years now in the parade. So just about every year we've been doing it. They're a Montessori preschool for three, four, and five year olds. They're established in 1970. They're educating Gresham's future leaders. And you know, I'm a big fan. My daughter attended Golden Montessori. Boy, oh, she's great. a junior in college now. I cannot believe it, but it all started there. So again, thanks. That's great. And they've got, oh, and there's the haze. And they've you got know, the cool bus. The hey, ones and the cool active bus. Active everywhere. I yeah, love this bus. And the cool bus. You know, my hey, buddy, said, how are you? Uh, he'd like to buy that bus, but I told him, hey, call me first because I'm willing to pay more for it. All right. Good looking. Golden Montessori School. And again, downtown Main Street, Folks, it is just alive and kicking. And come on down and check it out when you can. It's incredible. Who do we have here? We got Looks the like Powell, Powell Valley, Valley Panthers. Powell Valley Panthers. Well, great. I'm looking forward to having them show up. Didn't even know them on the docket, but here they are. I know the school really well out there on Powell Valley Road. And back there, uh, their teacher, Colleen Kai. Well, I think she knows who the true champ of horses is. Yeah, I think so too. It's a great group of kids, a great school doing great things. Good morning. Good to see everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for being out here today. Absolutely. Good to have them out here. Not defer. The uh, Pound Valley Panthers. And look at these little horses. Oh, fun. What have we here? Trying to catch up with them, but uh, I think we're a little out of sync here in our book. Yeah, but this, we're just trying to find out who we have. We have These some are horses. Wow, great! And they are just uh, beautiful horses. And yet, unfortunately, I'm trying to figure out who that group might be, and and I've lost track. But I'll go back and try to figure it out. For us. Oh. Wonderful little horses. Great to see them, and they even have pickup. Can I? What's that? OET. OET. There you go. So you got a group in between you. Thanks for straightening that out. And here comes the Mount Hood Dance Academy. So the little mini horses were part of the uh, OET group. Oh, so got it. Great. So uh, Mount Hood Dance just went by. Ballet, lyrical tap, jazz, and hip hop. There we are. There we go. Look at these Looking little dancers good. in the back of the trailer. They look like they'd like to get up and start hopping. Start dancing. Great to see them. Good morning. Great to see you. That's what I love Excellent. about this parade. You get all kinds of folks coming out to this wonderful parade, and they, uh, whether they're in it or they're watching it or they just happen to stop on by. Right. It's a lot of fun. Well, and you know, and you had mentioned again, kind of, uh, we I hope the parade continues to bring these people back to Main Street. Yeah. Is It is growing. It's thriving. We have a new fabric store that just opened, a couple of new restaurants. It's a place to be. Well, it is. I mean, you go to Jazzy Bagels, you go to Cafe Delirium, you can go to these wonderful restaurants. We have Thai food, of course, and... And of course, the Bocelli's behind us, the Italian restaurant owned by the mayor, the Foxtrot Vintage, there's places to shop. I'm telling you, you can come down, you can have breakfast, go shopping, come back for lunch, do a little more shopping, even stay for dinner and have some time downtown Gresham. And I guarantee you, you'll, you'll meet at least five or six people you know on the street. Absolutely. That's, it's all about community and we do that well here in Gresham. Yep, as we can see, uh, the little folks there cuddled up on the street, uh, they're, they're Suffering through a little bit of the cold weather, but uh, they're ready. They're still enjoying the parade and smiles on their face. Look at that little girl in that little pink outfit. That's just adorable. 
Yeah. And balloons, and here we come now. Oh, you know, this is going to bring me right back to Hawaii. I just got back from Hawaii. Oh, no kidding. Well, this I am jealous of that. Okay, Lama Hiki, Kamaona, Aini Jr. Thanks for being the leader of the Kapuula, Makani Kola Hana. You know, I know that I didn't get that right, I, but it sure but sounded almost good. It sounded really close to it. This is a great dance studio, and this Aloha! is one of us sharing the spirit of Aloha to hey, Hula. Hey, good to see you. Thanks for, bring, thanks for bringing the sunshine, the oh, sunshine of absolutely. Hawaii right here in Gresham. A little Hula dancing. Yeah, hey. You Good know, to I see was you. in Hawaii for 11 days, and I wanted to play the ukulele and hang out at the beach all day long. It was just fun. And look at this group. They're just bringing back the uh, aloha and the mahalo for doing that's right. so. The spirit of aloha, exactly. This is great. Let's see what they've got to offer. they got a little music and some folks dancing on the back. Good morning. Good morning, Thanks for folks. being here. Love the group, and this is their first year in this uh, teddy bear parade. So local Hawaiian dance school. They teach hula to students ranging from age two. All the way to 72. So they started to perpetuating <laughs> the Hawaiian culture and sharing the Aloha spirit. Yo! Now they say 272, but I got to yeah. hear 82 you can get in. Hey, looking great, looking you guys. Good. Looking beautiful. Looking good. Oh, yes. Wow, they're keeping hey. coming. Hey. Nice. Look at that. Woo. It's going out the shaka. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love it. We love it. Thanks for being here. We'll Excellent. see you again next year. You bet. I'll see you. Feel the Aloha. A little Aloha. shocker coming at your screen. And behind them, pediatric dentistry. The Gresham Orthodontics right here. Oh, Dr. Gabriella Aranda and Elizabeth Lee. So very good. You know, we use these folks and they do a great job with our kids. It's wonderful staff. Professional, courteous, and they just put the kids at ease. It's incredible. And following them is the Franciscan Montessori Earth School. Um, the only accredited pre-K through eighth grade Catholic Montessori school in the nation and have been a part of our community for many, many years. Thank you again to On Point Community Credit Union for sponsoring that color group. And now up is the yellow group, Mount Hood, Legacy Mount Hood Medical Center is sponsoring the yellow group. And they've got some teddy bears with them today and they've got a good showing from Legacy Mount Hood Medical Center. So. Great place, Legacy Mounted Medical Center up on Stark Street, folks. Great folks, great staff, great volunteers. Wonderful community. Yes, we're talking to you. And continues to day. grow and expand. And Pack 740. Mounted good Medical morning. Center Thanks for being here. By. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Love the Kia. Looking good. And here they come, the Pack 740. Good to see the scouts. They participate in many activities. They volunteer at the Oregon Food Bank, wow. conservation projects, and they scout for the food drive. Excellent. Great nice work, man. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Good morning. They All even got ages. the tiger with them. They got the tiger scout the out. The tiger. How about that? Wow, that's cool today. That's the first tiger we've seen, isn't it? I think so. We saw a lion, but we nice haven't seen see a tiger. Good to see you. of animals come together. We've got some horses. We've had the pit bulls. We've got a tiger now. All in the spirit of the teddy bear parade. That's right. And they even got the Cub vehicle out too. So that little scout vehicle, you yep. see that? Oh yeah, the stripes uh, We are love coming. seeing that, absolutely. You and know, again, this this is just, if you're if you're not coming or familiar with downtown Gresham, you need to be, so you'll figure it out. But here it comes now, the little uh, Ford. They're calling it the Bronco Sport, I think. And and uh, there they are, the Transportation Safety Fair. They're pushing that September 28th. So later today. 2 30, that's today. Later today. If you're watching this today, you missed it. That's right. <laughs> Radio Disney, AM 1640. Oh, we like that. And Perry the Platypus. Oh. All right, a platypus, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't, I just had to do it. Harlem <laughs> Shake. They challenged me. Taekwondo, oh. world champ. Taekwondo doing the Harlem Shake, too. Wow, and another dancing animal. Absolutely. And this is the world champion Taekwondo. Respect, focus, discipline, and fun. That's what they strive for. Oh, we're gonna see a board broken. And he oh, just did right, it. nicely wow. done. Holy mackerel. Wow. Don't chop angry. Pediatric dentistry. This is Dr. Larson, I believe. Yeah. Promoting excellent oral health for children in a positive and friendly environment. There they are, 831 on Council Drive. Excellent. See you and got the big Oh, oh and the big out. toothbrushes. Excellent. That must be for those lion's teeth That's that we right. saw. That's right. They are with pediatric dentistry. Good, to see you. Good morning. Woohoo! 
Connections Community, Making a Difference. Boy, they're having a book sale November 2nd and 3rd at the Gresham Library. It's a nonprofit group of women helping women improve their lives. That's great. Love the book sale. Yes. Make your way to that book sale. Great. What date was that Looking again? November good. 2nd. All right, and we gave third. that a shout out. Perfect. At we'll our library, at the library. The library. At the Gresham Library. Don't be confused, folks. It could be any library, but this one's in Gresham. That's right. And there we are. November 2nd book sale. and 3rd. And up next comes Deborah Messenger School of Dance. So they offer dance class for all ages. Kids just able to walk through adult uh, fall registration just begun, so it's not too late to sign up. So kids, from the time you're on your feet to the time that you, uh, you want to be off of them, they will teach you to dance. And let's, boy, and they are dancing for us this morning and looking good. Dance on. Deborah Messinger, School of Dance, been around Gresham forever. Trying to get the crowd into it, but it just seems like people just want to watch. U.S. West Taekwondo. Established in 1988, this is their fourth consecutive year in the Teddy Bear Parade. Absolutely. Good morning. They were voted Gresham's best martial arts facility in 2012 and 2013 by the Gresham Outlook. Program started age three, and we are they're now accepting new students. Check them out on Powell. Boy, and I hear some things are popping and a smacking and... Uh, and you know, as we mentioned earlier, this is just such huge self-esteem and leadership and discipline and growth building for our young people. Absolutely. And, and they have mature teens that are also role models for them to, to right. kind of watch these kids as they start learning about some of these fundamental disciplines about life. It's just great. They're good for them and, and good for the U.S. West Taekwondo. Great showing. And uh, the Tiger trying to get himself on screen. There you go. Well, and it's also nice, boy, you look at kind of multi-generational with families, Absolutely. intact units, that's very cool to see. Yeah. And it, okay, down the ways a bit. Oh, it's Stop super by kids. After the parade. So these kids want you to come by after the parade. Again, if you're at home viewing this, chances are you missed it. That's but right. this is a big deal. You can see it next year, the Super Kids Resale. Okay, so, so it's this after goes the on parade. Where the old Emporium store was. Oh, okay. And it's a giant kids consignment event happening this weekend at the Gresham Town Fair. It's right next to PetSmart, so it's near the library. Close. Sell, earn, and shop at the Super Kids Resale. That's going on. How are you? Good to see you. Saturday and Sunday next to the PetSmart. And if you are seeing that on your screen, folks, then uh, think about next year and uh, plan in advance. But you have a chance to walk over there today. Oh, I, I think candy. this is my favorite spot in oh. the whole world. Eye candy. I love Hold that it. place. Where are they with the samples? Where Where are the samples? Eye candy. You I know, the they samples. doubled their square footage by branching into the next door, and it has done nothing but wonders for That's them. That's right. It is it's a great, candy. great spot. Local owners, local folks doing well. Eye candy. If you have not gotten their caramel corn, you have you not have, lived. You need a last minute you, gift for somebody right. going there. They've got it. They're little stuffed animals. There's little things, little gifts, crazy socks, eye candy. Head on in there. Well, Love that's it. wonderful. Now, Gresham is a wonderful town. We keep talking about it, but we are not without our challenges. So I mentioned Springwater Trail before. Public safety is going to be something that we're going to be looking at, right. and the mayor and council have a proposal coming forward. Uh, citizens will need to look at our bond for the schools, of course. We have a lot of deferred maintenance on the schools over time. Uh, I think the, the project is uh, $80 million to uh, Gresham High. Right. Um, there are some things being overlooked that we need to address. And it's going to take a strong community to get there. And I, I believe in Gresham. The mayor said it best. He bets on Gresham. CrossFit. Oh, my goodness. The CrossFit group right here. And they are building a stronger Gresham. Provide high-level fitness training in a friendly environment so that people may live happy and healthier. And I like to say, and happily ever after. It's, oh, it's my great. gosh. Look at this. Woo, this guy's this one flag. got the best ride. My goodness. Wow. Oh. Folks, Whoa. if you're wondering what 1.2% body fat looks like, you just saw it right there <laughs> in the red right. shorts. Good for him. OSCA coming their way now. Here comes the OSCA, the, the, the Oregon School Employees Association. Great to see the OSCA. Wonderful. Is this Employee of the Year? Is that what you got on there? Good for you. And uh, yeah, there that's you too go. much. Supporting. She's the Employee of the Year for the OEA, or OSCA, I'm sorry. So OSCA, great to see you. It's a Freudian slip. We're all together. Boy. 
Good for you, the OSEA. Hey, thanks for everything you do, folks, thanks to Thanks for all you do in the kids. schools, and, and folks, a lot of times you talk about teachers, but oh. you also have to think about, I hope that wasn't important. I don't know. But you have to think about everybody in the school, and the OSEA, those school employees uh, are so many. They're your classified folks that are answering the phone. They're the folks that are picking up with the custodial staff. Uh, they can be your assistants. It's, it's amazing. The behind-the-scenes uh, heroes. Absolutely. And Surf Pro. We will look for Surf Pro. We want to thank again Legacy Mount Hood Medical Center. And Surf Pro provides water and fire damage cleanup in residential and commercial properties. Provide a huge service. Boy, you know, issues related to mold and that kind of stuff after the water issues. Boy, important to have, important for health and safety. Appreciate the work you do. Thank you so much for being here today. Surf Pro. He's got a noisemaker right here. Let's hear that again. Let's, where's the noisemaker? We that like that noisemaker. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. There we go. Surf Pro. Thanks for being here. Oh, and the Surf Pro Pug. I'm liking it. And I think this is Nova right behind him. So the Nova Learning Academy, Nova Learning, Put Reynolds Public Charter School. They are a public charter school sponsored by the Reynolds School District, serving students grades K through 8. Longer school days and longer school year with two teachers in every classroom, Nova. So it is the Nova Academy. They are located down on Stark Street. I believe at 18201 Southeast Start. And I believe the Center for Family Success. These are the folks from Rockwood, is that That's correct? That's right, part of Pathfinders of Oregon. I've worked with these folks many, many times. Excellent in helping, again, our kids thrive, our families thrive, and our community thrive. It is great to see them here in our parade today. Again, the Center for Family Success. It does a family good, and I can tell you that is the true story. Nice I, job. I love, Thanks for I being love here. I the t-shirts. Yes. And we love I, Rockwood. I love Rockwood. Yes. Loving the t-shirts. Yes. I'm loving, the t -shirts. I'm yes. loving what Rockwood is starting to become again. Yes. It's, it's, going, to be a, a, an, it's going to be a community that's going to start thrive. thriving. We are going to get people that are going to be investing. You can see the city uh, has already invested now with uh, their contribution to that, that police precinct. And here comes our battalion chief right now of... Uh, this is C7 out there. Uh, I believe that might be Eric Lofgren. Oh, yeah, it's Eric. Eric Lofgren. You know Eric, Eric he's been bet. around for almost 30 years now. BC, Battalion Chief, they keep everybody safe, basically. They are the eyes and ears out on the street. They take command of all those large fires, and uh, we appreciate them. And Truck 71, here come some heroes. These That's are some right. friends of mine. I see Aaron Byrne there. I see Grant Kimball, Firefighter Stair Climb extraordinaire. Uh, good for them. All great guys. Chris Swenson at the helm. Thanks for what you and do Grant every Kimmel day. And recently did the uh, firefighter stair climb. He did a wonderful job raising great money for leukemia for kids. And, oh, they just they get involved a lot. In engine 71, here they are, and you can see the engine right there. Brian Kelt, Rick Steverson. This guy's my hero, and Keston Kim. That's the up and comer. All but right. Rick Steverson right here, Barlow High School graduate, been a freshman forever, and uh, love that guy. Gotta see some. He's talking maybe... about retirement. It's crazy. Retirement? I gotta talk him out of that. How can that be. Gresham Indy, anyway, Terminal thanks, Truck Terminal, folks. Located at, at the, the firehouse right there on Eastman Parkway. How about that? Wow. Can you? Uh, well, I, I think this was record talking, and this was the Evelyn <laughs> School of Speed talking today. But what a great parade! You what know, a great group! What a great participants! Yeah, I, I got to admit, uh, from a performance standpoint, folks, I would have liked to have done a little better <laughs> for you. Be not our best. We were just <laughs> filling in the gaps and trying to make it happen, but. Uh, we had a lot of folks that uh, weren't able to make it this year, but a lot of folks that decided they would come. The bottom line is East Metro Community Media did a great job bringing this parade. Could not have done it without our major sponsor of, of course, Weston Pontiac, Kia, GMC, and Buick. And uh, Carla, it's been a real pleasure. Always, always and, uh, great. I, I got to tell you, what a great day. And uh, despite the rain, still a fun time. And still, the teddy bear parade right smack dab in the middle of Main Street, downtown Gresham, USA, last Saturday of September, every single year. Right. Hey, so let's make a date to be back here again next year, Greg. Same time, same place. <laughs> same time, same place, it same is trailer. Same, same group with the camera <laughs> That's equipment. Right. You know, I heard yeah. the mayor might come by and might say a few words, but uh, I'm not seeing Mayor Bemis. And, uh, you know, sometimes you got to say, Mayor, life's all about opportunity. You miss the shots you don't take. That's He's right. That's right. But, well, uh, but Gresham was today, and good for them. And I do want to give a shout out again to the Seroptimus of Gresham, who have made this an event 
for year after year after year. The planning that it takes to make something like this happen uh, is incredible. And I guarantee you they will take about two weeks off and start planning next year's. And we are very appreciative. I th again, I... Well, look at this. I, I see a, a, a truck with green balloons. What? Maybe a little... Uh, Late comer force, but let's see if we Folks, can we figure were out. It up, but we're going to continue it on. We're going to stretch this thing out a little it's bit. It's a 2009 truck. I can see that. We I think it has that. the Weston sign on it. So Weston maybe it's our sign. final Meals big. Meals on wheels. Is it? It could be somebody that just got through a barricade. Oh, there you go. We don't really know well, what's there. going on here. But <laughs> hey, welcome. We're happy to have you. Great Thanks to see so you. much. Thanks. That's, well, and that's what makes this parade so great uh, is, you know, we, we're flexible, we're adaptable, and we don't give up. And <laughs> Meals on Wheels doesn't either, so it's good to see And in the him. end, to summarize it, hey, 31 oh, years so, we've been woo, doing this parade. Okay. We'll continue to do the parade. Uh, the king just that did the parade. That person was royalty and that <laughs> and Hyundai we, Elantra, and we missed out on who they might be. Chestnut Lane, they're just trying to, to get you. home, but it's great to see you. Have a little fun as we wrap it up. And but, I uh, again, Carla, okay. thank you very much. It's a wonderful time. Always to see a you. pleasure. And a pleasure Always work a with pleasure. you. And uh, look forward to more of this in the future with you. Hey, and folks, be careful clearing the streets. There are some cars coming through. Safety first, as always. Again, thanks to Metro Media. Thanks to the Seroptimus. Thanks to Weston Kia. It has been a great, great way to start a Saturday. And we'll see you next year. You bet. Thank you very much.